Project Blue Collar is up and running now thanks to that fuel system redo. Unfortunately, once we got it up to operating temperature, we found out that it has either a TFI module or a pickup module problem with the distributor. Now to solve every ignition problem we have with this car, we're going to go ahead and use our PDI ignition kit. What this ignition kit's going to do for us is increase horsepower, improve idle quality, and improve fuel economy. Let's talk a little bit about the components of this kit. The Performance Distributor's Hot Forged Distributor features a hot forged aluminum housing that's CNC machined versus a billet aluminum housing that allows for a lower cost unit with a higher strength. It's loaded with an oil impregnated bronze bushing that the shaft rides on for a long service life. The shaft also is fitted with a steel distributor gear for use with roller cam shafts. The cap has brass terminals which are better conducting the, than the aluminum terminals found on the stock distributor cap. The Dynamod Ignition Module, also called the TFI Module, gives you a longer coil saturation time which allows for a longer spark duration that helps give you the better idle, fuel economy, and higher horsepower. The Performance Distributor's Screaming Demon Ignition Coil has a tighter winding and a more concentrated winding for increased spark energy. This increased spark energy allows you to open up your spark plug gap to about 65 thousandths on a naturally aspirated car. It also features a brass terminal for better conductivity and increased corrosion resistance. The Performance Distributor's live wires are an excellent addition to the Hot Forge Distributor and the Screaming Demon Cool because they'll get all that extra spark energy to the spark plug. They feature a very low resistance, about 300 to 350 ohms per foot. They're spiral wound so you don't end up with any radio interference. They have heat shrinked ends so to keep the moisture out of the boots, a heat braid that is up good up to about 1400 degrees, and they're also cut to length and numbered for each cylinder, making them the best plug wire for your Mustang. To remove the distributor from your 5 liter Mustang, you want to go ahead and remove the distributor cap and then make a note of where the rotor is pointing and where your TFI module is pointing because you want to line up the new distributor in the same location. Unplug the TFI module, then grab you a half inch socket with a ratchet and completely remove the hold down bolt and hold down bracket for the distributor. Then lift the distributor up and out of the engine. Every Hot Forge distributor includes a package of camshaft lubrication. This packet is to be used, drizzle some down onto the camshaft and put some on the steel gear on the end of the distributor and then you can go ahead and install it into place. Slide the distributor down into the block, lining up the rotor with the oil pump shaft and the camshaft and rotate it around to where it's pointing back in the same direction as the old distributor and then line up the TFI module to where it's pointing the same direction as on the old distributor. Reinstall the hold down clamp and bolt, plug in your TFI module. Replacing your spark plug wires is very simple and re doesn't require a whole lot of thought. However, I do want to point out a couple of things that you want to keep in mind, namely the firing order and then how to remove the spark plug wires from the spark plugs. Now, starting on the passenger side, at the front you have cylinder number one, then two, three, and at the back is number four. Then moving over to the driver's side, you've got cylinder number five at the front, then six, seven, and number eight is at the very back next to the firewall. Now on top of the cap, the firing order is one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, and eight. The coil is in the center. Now to remove your spark plug wire, it would be easier to give the boot a twist and then pull it away. That way you don't have, you break the, uh, the boot loose from the plug, makes it easier to pull off. Replacing the coil on your 86 to 93 5.0 Mustang is extremely simple. First thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your coil wire, then unplug the electrical connector, Grab you a nut driver with a swivel and a 732nd socket and remove the four 732nd bolts that retain the coil to the bracket. Remove the stock coil, put your new coil into place, 
reattach the four bolts, plug in your electrical connector, and reattach the coil wire. Now our performance distributors ignition kit also includes spark plug wire looms. You can put those wherever you need to on your car. Here's where we installed them on ours. Now installation will take you about a couple hours and like we said before the addition of that screaming demon coil allows you to open up your spark plug gap up to 65,000. So when we swapped everything out, went ahead and put in a new set of Motorcraft plugs with that larger gap. Now for more ignition parts for your Mustang, check out LateModelRestoration.com.